What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the 2017 Justice League LEGO Set 76086 Nightcrawler Tunnel Attack. Now, this is actually a really interesting build to the set, and back in the day, the big draw for this set, of course, would have been the Flash minifigure, the Ezra Miller Flash. Now, this set was $49.99 back in the day, 622 pieces, and it's pretty cool for what it is, but the Flash minifigure, again, was the big draw because this was the only set that he came in. So, of course, he had these power blasts, which when you push them against the figure, it shoots out of the hand like that. Brand new torso and legs for this figure, of course, and a brand new molded helmet, which looked really fantastic. We've got a smirk face on that side and then just a regular smile on this side. So a really cool figure that has definitely aged pretty well and even to this day is the main draw of the set. Here we've got the Justice League Batman minifigure, which is a great look. Same cowl and head as the BVS Batman, as far as I know, uh, which looks really good. He's got the spongy cape, of course, uh, the DCEU styled torso, some printing on the back there, and then black legs with the gray kind of uh, metallic sort of printing on the front. You can see it kind of moves there in the light. It's a great looking figure, but uh, I think that the BVS Batman that came with the Batmobile is probably my favorite, like DCEU Ben Affleck Batman. Here we've got one of the mother boxes, which you just build with a very simple style here with these two by two pieces here, a two by two uh, on the bottom, and then a two by two flat plate on the top that has custom printing on it. And when I say custom, I guess exclusive is the better word. Then we got not one, but two parademons here. So here's the first one with the longer wings. They're actually identical as far as the figures are concerned. The only difference are these kind of plasticky wings that you attach to the back. And I have this here because it gives you two sheets of them. So you get sheets like this, and then you just punch out the wings. Uh, they're just kind of in there. You just punch them out and then you clip those wings in that hole onto the back like that. So pretty simple, nothing too crazy there. And because there's not too terribly much more to this set, we'll just take a look at the actual build itself now. So you can see it's a very robust look. I think it's neat that it almost kind of looks like the Batman logo, but maybe I'm reaching there. You could see that each of these four builds, which are pretty much identical as far as I could tell, except for like the insides or outsides, but the wheels themselves are pretty close to identical. You can see there's wheels on them, like I said, so it does allow you to roll the set itself. And then each one kind of has like an elbow joint so that you could take it on some rough terrain or in some interesting places. So it's kind of cool, but if I'm being honest, it's not for me. It just feels a little bit too like zany for the sake of being zany it's not that it's a bad thing it's just this vehicle really isn't for me we've got some stickers up front there this red translucent piece goes open like that so you can put batman inside and close him in like that then there are these uh, gunfire things here, and when you twist these little knobs, it shoots these uh, missiles out just like that. These guns have come in several places, so it's not like they're new or exclusive, but uh, I don't want to fire it and have them, you know, sprawl out all over the place. We've got a bat logo up top here, and then in the back here, we have a uh, batarang stored back there, as well as a grappling hook, because Batman's always got to have his gadgets. So that said, that's pretty much all there is to say about this set. I think it's a cool set. I don't really know if it's worth, like, hunting out to buy, unless you're trying to collect all the old Justice League sets. Um, it it's very cool. I'm just not a huge, huge fan of it, but I did get it in a haul recently, and I figured, well, we're a superheroes channel here, so we we might as well cover it. All right, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.